Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August the 11th of 2020. Well, it is titled churning clouds on Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of part of the planet Jupiter, as seen by the Juno spacecraft. Now the Juno spacecraft is currently orbiting around Jupiter in what we call a polar orbit. So instead of orbiting around the equatorial regions, it is going up and over the poles. It also comes in very close to Jupiter and then goes out very far. So it comes in really close, gives a close up look, and then heads back out for further away, meaning that it's in a highly elliptical orbit. So it gives us some very close up views when it comes in. But then it does not spend as much time in the strong uh, radiation belts around Jupiter. So it keeps it from being damaged too quickly as it would if it were just in a low orbit. So this gives us a chance to get some close up views like this. And what we're seeing is a lot of the turbulence within the atmosphere of Jupiter. So various gases there and cloud structures are similar to in many ways to what we see on the Earth, uh, just a little bit different in terms of the structuring that we see. So what are the clouds made up of? That can be different. There is some water there, but there's also a lot of ammonia. And ammonia is one of the things that we looked for on Jupiter and have not been finding it as much as was expected. In fact, many clouds on Jupiter uh, were not showing a lot of ammonia. And that's one thing that astronomers are trying to better understand using the data from Juno. So more observations will help us to better understand how the atmosphere of Jupiter works. Now, why is that important to us here on Earth? Well, understanding Jupiter's atmosphere can help us to better understand our own atmosphere. So things that happen on Jupiter can also then be related to things that happen on Earth. When you have multiple perspective to see how things work in different places, it's very helpful for being able to better understand this. So studying atmospheres here as we do in Jupiter can also give us a better understanding of our own atmosphere here on the Earth. So while we often look at studies of other planets as fascinating in their own right, they are also a good way to help us better understand what's happening here on our own planet, simply because we're getting a different view of how things work. Instead of studying just the Earth where things might have occurred in certain ways, when we find out other ways that things can work and other uh, perspectives, it really gives us a much better understanding of our own planet. So that was our picture of the day for August the 11th of 2020. It was titled churning clouds on Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be comet Neowise's pointing tail. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.